Hey friends, Uncle Dan here. I'm in a 1996 Gibraltarin organ here at United Presbyterian Church in Binghamton, as you probably saw by the thumbnail of this video. Very, very lovely facade. So, here's a little stop tour. We have three manuals, swell, great choir, and a pedal. So, as always, let's start up in the swell. There's a really, really lovely 16-foot board on. There's an eight foot stop to diapason. A four foot principle to add on top of that. foot octave and then on top of that. And a three rank plein jeu. Those are the, the main flues. We also have a four foot flauto traverso with a stopped. We have a two and two thirds nazard. and let's bring the octave in back in and we have a quote-unquote cornet as it were that's for the yuck of it let's bring the tremulant on very lovely we have two string we have a string in this list we have a viol de gambe Bring the Celeste. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. We have a bunch of reeds. We have an uh, eight foot oboe. A couple of pipes are starting to go out of tune. We have an eight-foot trumpet. We 
We have a 16 foot basson. <laughs> for Chalmay. We also have a Vox Humana 8. I'm gonna throw the tremulant on it. And we also have a non-coupling solo trumpet that's borrowed from the choir. Very pungent, very out there. And you have the swell unison, 16 and 4 voices. So, moving on down to the grate. Let's build up our principal chorus. The grate is unenclosed right out here. Here's our eight-foot principle. Four-foot octave. Two-foot super octave. Heck of it, let's add the tune to third for quint. Rounding it off, we have a one and one third foot four rank mixture. That's our principal chorus. We have a couple others. We actually have two 16s in the grate. Very interesting. We have a 16 foot violon. And a 16 foot board on. We also have an 8-foot gambit, which I believe is an extension from the 16-foot violon. Either way, they sound really, really nice. We have an 8-foot harmonic flute. Bring the tremulant on. We have an eight foot roar flute. Four-foot capo flute, which is an extension of the roar flute. That I know. Yep. 
And we do have one reed, there is a trumpet on the grate. It's out there, but it's not really as much out there as the solo trumpet is. We also have some chimes. They're, oh, they're available on all the manuals. But they come from the swell box. We also have the eight foot solo trumpet and great to great 16 and four and the unison can turn off. It is. On moving on down to the choir, it's, we don't have too much, but we do have enough to build something up. So we have an eight foot Nasson flute. Foot hoe flute. A two foot spitz flute. There's a two and three and or three rank cornet in this organ so. So those are the mains. We do have two hybrids. There's a gems horn. a Celeste to go with it. It's not as pungent as, you, as you'd think an Urzal or, or a something in the choir would be. It's very, very gentle, very easy. And our chorus read, as it were, is a eight foot clarinet. There is a tremulant, but I'm not going to be using it for the carol that I'm going to be recording on this organ because, as you hear, squeaky. They, they got to do some work on that tremulant. So we, there is chimes, there's choir to choir 16 and 4 in the unison off, and the solo trumpet is originally down in choir. So moving on to the pedal, there are actually two thir 332s, the bombard, the, there's a borden and a resultant. So here's the borden 32. And here's the resultant. powerful. There's a 16-foot Borden, comes from the grate. A 16-foot Lieblich Gedeckt from the swell. A 16-foot Violon. which has an extension. There is a 
sub bass Now there is a 16-8-4 principal chorus with a two rank mixture on top, so I'm going to start with a 16. The 16 is actually right here in the facade. Adding the 8 foot. And the 4 fourth choral bass. And the two rank mixture on top of that. And there's the 32 resultant. There is a gedecked 8 foot that goes along with a sub bass. So those are our flues. There are several reeds. We have a, let's build it up. We have a 32 foot contrabombard. A 16 foot. Much more pungent. That is, that is an independent rank from the 32. We have a 16 foot basson. That's the swell basson. The eight foot trumpet, and the four foot clarion. That's coming right from the trumpet. We also have the solo trumpet on here. Oh, another thing that I almost forgot. On the choir, we have a Zimbostern that's also a toe stud. There's not too many bells on this Zimbostern reel, but... And it's not really Santa's sleigh as one we would expect with Allen's Zimbosterns. I do not like Allen's Zimbosterns. I really wish that they'd be able to source it from an actual Zimbostern or a Glockenstern. So... Those are, that's the pedal. You could bring the Great Swell and Choir at eight and four. So all, all manuals eight, eight, eight and four can go down to the pedal. Swell the Great, 16.8.4. Choir the Great, 16.8.4. Same thing, Swell the Choir, 16.8.4. And you could put the Great, couple the Great to the Choir at eight. And transfer the manuals. If you want to have the Great play on the Choir, Choir stops play on the Great, you could do that. All Swells to Swells, so what that does is it kind of disables the any other expression shoes that you may have, whether it be great, choir, pedal, solo, string, whatever that is. They would, it would disable those shoes and put them all on the swell box shoe. So the swell box, the swell expression pedal would open all those expression pedals too. And there is, there is no MIDI capabilities on this organ, but those are all your MIDI stuff here. There are two 2Ds. 2D1 has a simple stern. 2D2 is more or less full organ. Ten generals, six divisionals require great swell in the pedal. Yada, yada, yada. There's a set and a cancel. So that's more or less it on the Gibal Terrain. So now you know and you and you probably you'll be able to hear what I used for the carol that I choose to record on this organ. So that's more or less it.